good look at our exit steps. So make sure you take a picture of your notes and get that into the Nearpod. It gives me a good idea of what we've completed for the day. If you can't take a good picture with your comp book, because it's really hard to put it up there and actually take a picture, take a picture with your phone, email it to yourself, and then put it in a document, whatever. Find a, a cleaner way to share what you are, um, what work you're, you're getting done in class. Um, and then complete the exit ticket. So it should be a Flipgrid exit ticket. I don't know which question you answered, so we're going to go through them all. But I asked you to pick one on this side and pick one on this side. So you should be doing two problems. I'll go over them all because I don't know which ones you picked and make sure we understand it. Okay. Explain how you know which terms to combine when combining like terms. So to combine like terms, they must have the same variable. If they have no variable that's known as a constant, so those, I can combine any constants. Okay, construct an argument. Explain why the expression 2y minus y can be written as y. Okay, well, so 2y take away 1y equals 1y. Why can we write 1y as just y itself? Well, how many y's do you have there? You have one. And if you want to, we can test something out. We can set a number for y. y equals 10. 2 times 10 is 20. Minus 1 times 10 is 10. 20 minus 10 is 10. Hey, what did we say y equals? 10. So there's our argument that y is 10. And over here, we're just practicing. Combine your like terms. So I'm drawing boxes underneath these guys. They're alike. And I'm going to draw, I don't know, a triangle. Anything different than a box, indicate these. So 7 take away 6 is 1y. This guy's got nobody to buddy up with, so just bring it down. Make sure you bring down the sign that was connected to it. Okay, here. Um, squigglies and then a circle so these are like I have 4x take away a half of an x so that would be 3 and a half would be left 3.5x or you could be writing 3 and a half x and then this plus 2 has nobody to hang out with so just bring them down hopefully you realize that I just did two different problems like this means the same thing as that one. Just making sure you can see it both ways. Okay. Um, so we've got 3 and negative 1 or minus 1. Those are like terms. And then my second term that's different is my y's. So 3 minus 1 is 2. 3y plus 1y is 4y's. And the last question, these are the exact same thing. And what I mean by that is they're, they're like terms. They both are a term that have a variable x. So we've got 1x plus 6x. So 1 plus 6, we have 7x's.